Greetings to all. Today we are going to learn about size of a shadow. If you observe a shadow of a tree during the day, you will notice that the length of the shadow changes with time. A shadow of a tree is the shortest at noon and longer in the morning and evening. That means the size of a shadow of an object varies. It depends on the first size of the source of light and size of the object. Second, distance between the source and the object as well as the distance between the object and the screen. Now, let us understand how the size of a shadow depends on the size of the source of light and size of the object. For this, let us carry out an activity to understand it. First, let's see shadow formed by a point source of light. Take a ball and place it between a point source of light that is a torch or a bulb and a screen. Turn on the torch or the bulb. You will see a dark shadow on the screen. The size of the shadow will be bigger than the size of the object that is ball. The shadow will be of the same shape as the object. Now second shadow formed by an extended source of light. When the ball is placed between an extended source of light and the screen, you will again see a shadow appearing on the screen. But it will have a dark patch called Amra surrounded by a partially dark patch called Penumbra. Third, shadow formed by an extended source of light bigger than the object. When the object is smaller in size than the source of light, the shadow on the screen has one dark patch umbra surrounded by a partially dark patch penumbra. The size of umbra is very small. If the screen is moved away from the object, the umbra disappears. This is the reason why shadows of birds and aeroplanes flying in the sky are not formed on the ground. The Amra region is too small to reach the ground and Penumbra is too large and faint.